Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cool, got really cold. All right, so I did all the zodiacs, okay? I will break down briefly. <clears throat> it was amazing. But I love working with energy, so I would think it would be amazing. But my Aquarians, okay, it's a breath of fresh air, but it, it's fear. You're fearing your inner voice, okay, is what's happening with my Aquarians right now. It's like, here comes that breakthrough, but there's so much fear linked to that breakthrough, okay, which is kind of like, kind of stinks, but it's that Aquarians energy that you guys are in when it comes to communication, when it comes to things, when it comes to logic, when it comes to just what's happening, when it comes to your fear, okay, it's your Aquarians taking over, all right, um, Libra, it's, it's, um, a lot of you are really absorbing that Libra energy. Twin flames came into that one strong, but it's it's fair and just situations, okay? Um, Gemini, same thing. Twins, the twins came out right away. The lovers, okay? It's it's also work was in there. Stability was in there. Um, X marks the spot when it came to Pisces, Taurus, Sag. There was another one, so that talks about your chart. Um, Pisces are actually, my Cancerians are actually in Pisces energy, um, Cancerians, Pisces, you're projecting, so be careful, okay, this is not your normal type of energy that you're normally in, so just be wary of that, Cappies are being guided with this lover's situation, um, a lot of my Cappies, I think it's long term, I think you might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Cancers are definitely dealing with Aquarians, Scorps too, um, Scorp's got new energy, but you have to be able to trust that it's, you know, you're going to get a message. It's going to be a tower moment, but you're going to get a message. And it's, can you take a leap of faith? Will you take a leap of faith? Leo's you're dealing with, um, I think you're all really in Leo energy right now. And it's, it's letting go in the past, welcoming the new, the change, transformations, loving somebody, self-love. Okay. Um, I think my Aries are really in Aquarian energy right now too, but it's it talks about your future. This whole entire read is really about your future. This is this Virgo energy is prepping you for your future. Okay, um, deep next couple weeks, but not as deep as last week. But it's getting you to your future, so it's deep. Okay, Sagittarius, it's scary deep for you, um, but the stars are guiding you. Okay, so kind of got to go with that one. So a lot of these relationships are being guarded, guided and guarded. Um, but it talks about leap of faith. But in the next couple weeks, though, to be honest with you, I really feel like it's more like um, it's more about your future and your direction and taking leaps of faith and who you're working with, what type of energy you're working with. Um, so make sure you take notes when you watch these type of videos, okay? Lots of messages, lots of spiritual messages, information. It's it's so important that you do that because that's what's going to help you through this energy. You can realize, you know, like, for example, my Aquarian is in my third house when it comes to communication. So for me, communication usually comes smoothly. But, you know, my Aquarius is right now are actually fearing their inner voice. They're fearing this spiritual journey. They're fearing breakthroughs. But that fear is coming from Virgo. So my Aquarians are more in the Virgo energy, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if there's a fear, it's going to be hard to communicate, right? Um, Virgo is straightforward energy. and There was, you know, definitely work involved too. Um... So for me, since my Aquarian rules my communication, if I was fearing my inner voice, I, I would have a hard time talking, okay? So so it's almost like depending on where somebody's placement is in their chart, you know, so you could be dealing with an Aquarian, but they're not even an Aquarian energy. See what I'm saying? It, it's because they're in Virgo energy right now. So this breaks down all this stuff. Um, I really think my Aries were dealing with cancers too. Is that what it was? I didn't, you know me, I try not to touch base on that too much. But this basically just tells you, would, you would, this basically tells you a story. This is your story. You would know what's happening, where's what in your chart, how it's working, how you're working your way through it, how to get through it. 
your best advice, what's actually coming. So when you take all these 12 zodiacs and you write little notes, you know, for you, you'll be able to pinpoint, okay, well, this is a good tower and the tower is coming, but it's really setting me up for my future. But my biggest problem for me, you know, would be stepping forward because the notes you write, when you go back and look, you'll notice what's being repeated. It's like your way of tracking what you need to work on the most, okay? And it's important because this is a huge, huge, huge full moon, okay? Major, 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 major. It's no joke. But we're going to get you through it. It's just setting you up for a better future. I'll take it. I'll take it. So you can go to the description box below, click the little button, donate $8, and I will send it to you. And if you want to put, you want to write something, because you guys do, um, moon blending, okay? So I just, moon blending. I didn't necessarily say, this is what Aquarians dealing with with a Virgo, or this is how my Virgos are dealing with a Scorp. That's not what I did. All right, someone's dealing with DNA right now. But what I'm saying is, what I, what I did is basically, how is... The Scorpio dealing with Virgo energy. How is the Aquarian dealing with Scorpio energy? No, how is the Aquarian dealing? My Aquarians are dealing with Scorps too. Well, my Aquarians are in Scorp. You're, you're in everything. But basically, how is my Cancer dealing with Virgo energy? What are they? What's coming up for my Cancers while in Virgo energy? You know what I'm saying? So it's not that you necessarily need to let anything go per se. There was makeup breakups that brand new came in. All right, but that's because there's a rebirth. There's been growth. All that stuff you're going to notice, you, it's going to help you. I'm going to start helping you understand your chat is what I'm really ultimately trying to do by doing these videos. It, they're learning techniques, okay? Without really, I'm doing it subconsciously, okay? But it's a good thing, all right? Um, so I love you guys. Let's see you later, Gators.